Alright, so what's up guys? Izzy D back here with another PS Classic Hack update video number two. Um, I know I've been um, lagging on this video, but I've been kind of busy, so here I am. So people are asking questions about um, how is their folder supposed to be set up for like multi-disc games, like their cue sheet. How can you run a multi-disc game? And I'm about to show you that. Um... So let's look for a multi-disc game. Oh, let's go. When I want to work, see that uh, was a Strider. I know the, the Strider PS1 has part one and part two. And the way I set it up is as soon as you click play, it's going to boot the first disc. So I'm going to show you what the folder is supposed to look like. So I don't know if you can see that red light. That's my USB stick connected to the the power hub. That blue light is the powered hub. And it's connected right here to the USB. <clears throat> so uh, it's always good to have an extra copy. I have another 128 gig stick here just in case anything happens to my original. All my files are, are safe on that stick. So I'm going to show you guys what it, it's supposed to look like. So here it is. Sony. Games. All right, now I was trying to find this. All right, the easy way to do this. Strider. Now we're gonna see what folders it's. Okay, it's a number eighty-three. If you can see that, that's the easiest way to find it. Just type the name. I'm gonna show you the folder right here in one of the Q files. Okay, so we go to folder eighty-three. Should be Strider. Uh -huh. So I'm just gonna answer a few questions here. How your Q sheet should look. Uh -huh, everything should be labeled and uh, what you need to get this game the multi disc running all right here we go so you go to game data so you see um, sorry let me okay here's your strider uh, 2 disc 1 that's obviously part 1 and part 2 is on disc 2 uh, your picture for the game should be labeled after disc one. So this is Strider two disc one. It's gonna open this, and then uh, disc two should just be disc two disc two. Just make sure that your queue, you open with Notepad, and that everything matches Strider two disc two. Now I'm gonna show you what your game INEI uh, sheet should look like. This is what it, this is what mine looks like. So it says Strider two. For the title, Capcom 2001, and here's what it has to do. Here's what it has. To, what's very important, where it says discs. You're gonna have uh, Strider disc, Strider 2 disc one. Make sure the space is exactly how it is on this side. The names have to match. You're gonna place a comma, and you're gonna write Strider 2 space disc two exactly how your your Q and your bin file is over here, so it can it knows what to read or where to get it from. Um, so yeah, that's how your that's how it should look when you're running multi-disc games. That's how your game INEI um, sheet should look like. So we're gonna exit out of here. Any questions? This is what it looks like. Okay, guys. Make sure you have a comma here and just write the same thing on this side, but write disc two. Uh, spaces. If it's capital letter, all that everything should should match. If it doesn't match, it's not gonna run. Let's click out. Let's go to Strider. Okay, so it's telling me this game requires you to change discs during gameplay and honestly you can't you hit the circle button It won't let you change discs. You're gonna have to go through the through the main through the menu when you select uh, when you hit select and triangle You're gonna hit change disc image. It's gonna hit the disc And it's gonna take you back to this game, but you're gonna have to just reset. I'll show you right now watch Here we go, let's try to speed this shit up There you go, Strider. It's like the arcade. All right, so we're gonna hit select and triangle. We're gonna hit select, change the CD image. Okay, we're on disc two. Hit X. It's gonna go back here. Now, what you do when it goes back to the same, the not the, the the game, you hit select and triangle again. PSX menu. Reset game. 
Should be Strider 2. If I did it correctly, it's gonna be Strider 2. Any second now. And I believe that is Strider 2. <clears throat> well, there it is, guys. That's how to run multi disc games on your. Your PS Classic, your modded PS Classic with BleemSync. I'm running BleemSync 4.0.1. Um, yeah, and that's it, guys. Watch, let's say Strider 2. Strider 2. Uh, so, yeah, just copy what I have in my game in INEI folder. Make sure everything matches, all the letters, all uppercase, lowercase. Um, yeah, and it's pretty simple, guys. That's it. So you have Strider 1, Strider 2 Disc 1, and Strider 2 Disc 2. That way it knows where to grab the image from the bin file. But yeah, any other questions, uh, subscribe, ask, and I'll surely answer them. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.